Hello again, what's up? It's John coming at you from Cowboy Lamores, and I have a quick tip for you to diagnose your battery if you have these issues, okay? So what the customer brought this battery pack in, he was saying that he couldn't charge the pack. Um, sometimes the pack wouldn't turn on, and he had a problem with the button being um, sticky. And what I mean by sticky is actually the opposite of what you think. Like he would press the button, and instead of locking on and turning on like this, he... Um, he actually, it would just pop right back out and the light would turn on and it would turn right back off. So you couldn't lock the button in. Okay, now it's working. And the reason why it's working is because it was very, it wasn't, it uh, wasn't consistent. He did have this plastic gasket on. And this is a great thing for, um, you know, keeping the moisture out and stuff. But in Hawaii, because it's very humid here, it's a very good seal to keep the moisture in. And I believe that's what led to the stickiness of the pack. Now, this battery is working perfectly fine as it should. Uh, this is a newer pack that we just had to do a quick uh, test on. But this is this good. It's a good thing, but it can hold the moisture in. Now, to fix the stickiness, we used not just any old lubricant. We actually used this right here. This is called Corrosion Block. It's actually a marine grade um corrosion protectant slash lubricant and it's safe for electrical components see protects electronic equipment from moisture now this is not just any old ordinary wd-40 this is some specialized stuff it's actually very very good especially for us in hawaii where we have a lot of salt air i mean it just wrecks electrical components so if you have the access to corrosion block or anything else out there that's marine grade and specific to electronics do not do not use wd-40 lps do not use any of those because they are not rated for electronics or they may not be electronic friendly now in this case all we did was we just squirted some here and we let it soak in and now we have a consistent working battery as it should and this is great um before you uh you know, before you contact your dealer, well, you should always contact your dealer, but before you send the battery, you pack it up, you send it away to some for someone to get looked at, or you spend hours over emails and phone calls, just try that first. Again, you want to use a electronical, electrical safe, uh, preferably marine grade lubricant slash corrosion protectant. And there you go. There's your tip from Kawila Motors, always representing electric motion and keeping you ready to ride. Aloha.